and it came down to a last second shot. It was 20 to 23. We had the, the, the inbound ball to Turin at the three point line. He sets up, takes the shot. Welcome back. Good morning. Top of the morning to ya. Top of the morning to you, ladies. Guys, Turin and I are up again bright and early. Guys, I'm running on four hours of sleep. Turin's like, why? Truth is, I don't know. I just couldn't fall asleep. However, we are bright eyed and bushy tail this morning because we have really bizarrely the most packed Saturday morning I could actually remember that we've ever had. Turin, would you agree? Yes. Turin has a game at 8.30, a game at 10.30. These are soccer games, by the way. A basketball game at 12.30. Ashton has a basketball game at 10.30. Ava has a birthday party at 11.30. And Turn has a birthday party this evening. So, needless to say, today is going to be cray cray. Cray cray, right? Anyway, so we're up and out. Head to his first game, 8.30. Spectators allowed. However, his second game, no spectators allowed. So we'll catch a little bit of a glimpse of his first game, and then Lindsay will catch some glimpses of Ashton's basketball game. So guys, saddle up. Let's get into a crazy Saturday. Wrapped up Turin's first of three games. As they played a team that was 06. Now they're 08. 06, 07. They're 08. So this team was a good year to two years older than they are, and they beat them 2 to 0. Great competition, though. However, this next game is outside, and it is 28 degrees currently right now as I look at the thermostat in the car it's 20 degrees so we're gonna have to dress up a little bit for this one all right you guys today's a big sports day at our house justin and i divided so that we could make it to all the kids sports it's a little tricky and a little complicated because some of the sporting events that we're going to only allow one parent to come to the games they won't even allow a sibling or a grandparent it has to be a parent and only one so as you know justin is up at all of turin's games today he's got two soccer and then a basketball so i got ava off to a birthday party and i'm getting to see ashton play at his very first basketball game of the season now i'll tell you because of covid they also don't have any practices this year so this is the first time he's touched a basketball in a year but he loves basketball this is going to be so fun for him i love that they have something to do in the winter when we can't get outside and play on the boat as much as we want to. So I've got my mask and I'm ready to go. game of the season in the books was it so good to be back in basketball yeah because like it's just fun to get out and do sports since we just been at home at COVID a lot so like it's just fun to get go out and do sports so true because of COVID we just haven't been able to do as many things as usual and we don't take that for granted anymore so super fun to be back at it as she actually lucked out this year we signed him up for basketball not knowing any friends that were playing and he ended up with two of his good 
friends yeah. from school on his team. One of them's really, really funny though too. That's the best part about it. And they're gonna have secret practices at recess for sure <laughs> and become the best team when nobody's even gonna see it coming. <laughs> we were told that no spectators were allowed at this second game. Apparently that has changed and I am without a jacket. All right, you guys, I am nestled in a nice little minky couture blanket over here, right on the outskirts of Turin's game. And Landon this morning when he woke up, he actually woke up early with us and he said, Dad, I really wanna go. But because of COVID, they really only allow one spectator per family member. So we found an alternative option with Landon's new iPad from Christmas. We are now FaceTiming him so he can watch the game with us. Landon is hands down the number one fan of La Roca here. All right, Landon, we're coming down again. Here we go. Game number three. So Turns team won six to two in this last game, outdoor cold, cold game. Guys, and they were actually down their goalie as well. In fact, they were down both their goalies. So the fact that they ended up winning six to two is pretty incredible. He had one of the kids on his team, his little brother. He's seven or eight, and he did really good on his team. So there you have you guys. So we're off to game number three, Junior Jazz basketball. Guys, turn. I mean, I, I just can't believe he's still going. I would be exhausted at this point. The kid's an athlete, but we've got three games. Last game of the day. Here we go. All right, you guys, we have just wrapped up Turin's basketball game and it was a nail biter. Him and Ryler on the exact same team and it came down to a last second shot. It was 20 to 23. We had the, the, the inbound ball to Turin at the three point line. He sets up, takes the shot and misses, but he played incredible. And the fact that he played two soccer games prior to the basketball game, I think we're gonna tip our hat today to Turin and Ryler for a well played basketball game. But then after the game, I took the exact same You're wondering same where shot. he is, he's just chilling right here. <laughs> so after the game, I took the exact same shot and drained it. That's true. So right after the, the, the buzzer hit, I was like, dude, know. take that shot again. He took it and totally drained it. Next time though, guys, next time, Michael Jordan missed more shots than he made. Just remember that. I. All right, let's go really home. Bad under pressure. Let's go home. <laughs> 